the That's Type of News. I'm Bruce Robinson. And I'm Dutch Pyramid. And we're here to give you the news. Unfortunately, in local news, we're not looking too top-notch as our opposition leader, Mark Green, has stepped on and resigned from politics following the resignation of David Burke from his position as Shadow Finance Minister. Now, <laughs> this is going to change the political atmosphere of our country, considering that the OBA has been losing a bit of favor in the community and wasn't looking as strong going into the next election as they were previously. Now, mm -hmm. with the PLP's house being a bit out of order, or as some might say, house cleaning, we may see that both parties are now brought on equal footing. But the pros of this is that many believe that the PLP will come out even stronger without Mark Bean because they would have to come together to remedy the situation and to convene to pick a suitable leader to step in his place. Now, regardless of how I might personally feel about Mark Bean, I would like to say that you know, we appreciate that you had given so much of your life to politics and to serve the people. Though we may not have always seen eye to eye, mm -hmm. I will say that it is always takes a big man to fight for what he believes in. Now, <laughs> to address the, <laughs> I can't say elephant in the room, I kind of want to say we need something bigger than an elephant. Uh, got the Godzilla in the room? With a toupee. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. As we all know, the election is... Tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, set your time clocks, kiss your babies, hug your children, and pray, pray, pray that America makes the right decision. And by right decision, I mean the best decision, because there is no right decision between those two, because it's like choosing rather to stab yourself in the neck or shoot yourself in the foot. Now, I'll take the foot. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna hurt. Yeah. It's not the best in the world, but I'll survive. You will. You will. Because if it goes in your neck, you're gonna bleed out like one of those movie scenes. And we don't want that. Getting shot in your foot, you just get a little gangrene, the bullet gets removed, you're cool. You can live. My grandpa died from gangrene. Yeah. Well, we may all die from this gangrene too. The gangrene is Hillary Clinton. Just so you know. Those are your two options. In the neck, Donald Trump. In the foot, Hillary Clinton. That's your two options. Now, some might say, why are comedian people, such as us, beautiful people? We're just attractive, just really handsome. What people need to understand is when America sneezes, Bermuda gets cold. When America steps left, we feel the move. When America shifts itself in the bed, we feel it at the bottom. Whatever America does affects Bermuda probably more than it affects the rest of the world. Therefore, we must be aware of I mean, what happens and be wary yeah. of the outcomes. Even though we are citizens of England, we are very much tied to America. Most of our tourists are American. When Bermudians leave, most of them do go to America. When we do our shopping trips, we go to America. When we order our stuff, see, we go to we, we get everything from the states. Our school listen, system is like half. Listen, America. our school system is based on the American school system. Our America is a essential. I want to say lifeline, but. It's just something that, you know, it's scary. And America is the leader of the free world. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, whatever decision they make come this election, we all need to be paying attention. Mm -hmm. Because if Donald Trump and his toupee walk into the White House with Melania Trump and his two hard sons and Ivanka, sorry, Ivanka. We love Ivanka. Ivanka. Yeah, we love Ivanka. I love Ivanka. If but he walks into that White House. Skynet's coming online. Yep. And so and Skynet's gonna come online and the Terminators are gonna plug us into the Matrix and then, you know... I'm gonna grow my hair out and call myself Steve. And I'm gonna cut my hair off and call myself... Bob. Mr. Clean. <laughs> it's tall enough for it. <laughs> it's just gotta, gotta go to the gym. Jesus, well, well, let's just move on to something like How about something funny? What do you got? You know... Action. In entertainment news, we got ourselves a new Wonder Woman trailer. And I do have to say, after seeing the Justice League trailer and then seeing the Wonder Woman trailer, I think DC's finally hit the stride. I think they've finally, you know, gotten out of the awards and the 
gonna start making some decent movies. Cause Batman vs Superman was a disappointment. Hmm. Suicide Squad had great potential, had an amazing cast, great soundtrack, but Suicide Squad fell a little flat. Even with Will Smith, unfortunately. We and love Jared Leto, who I think was the best Joker, in my opinion. You know, everybody says it was Heath, but anybody that's read a comic book, Jared Leto. Now, Wonder Woman is the first female superhero movie. I do. Like, it, it's the first. If you say Catwoman, you, your opinion is null and void. If you say Catwoman, your existence on this earth is a blight. <laughs> because that movie never happened. Sharon Stone never got superpowers for makeup, and Halle Berry is Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. Yeah, we just reset that. We just took it back. Even Anne Hathaway did a good job as Catwoman. I liked her as Catwoman, but I'm getting, you know, back to Wonder Woman. Now, Wonder Woman is a big deal because A, she's not overly sexualized. B, she's a powerful woman that doesn't need anybody to Help her out. Like, the woman can bench press buildings. What does she need anybody else up for? Not at all. Three, she's not playing a damsel in distress. How many times was seeing Lois Lane fall from a building and Superman swoop in to save her? How many times Black Widow's been, you know, kicking some alien butt until Captain America or Iron Man has to save her? Like, I mean, even Scarlet Witch in the, in the Avengers movie, she's a great character. She's probably the second most powerful Avenger other than the Vision, but she's not used that much. She's used as a, like, you know, it's nice to see a woman, like a powerful Amazonian goddess, you know, get, get her time. Like, you know, I've been saying we need a Wonder Woman movie for years, but Wonder Woman comes out June 2nd. 2017, this has been That Type of News. I will see you there. I'm Bruce Robinson. And I'm Dodge Fairman. Check y'all later. <laughs>